What is up guys, I'm Rick Kakis, and today we have the God Roll Guide for the Uzumi RR4 Legendary Energy Snipe Rifle. This is one of three brand new Nightfall exclusive weapons added into Destiny 2 within Season of the Splicer, and it's available to earn for the first time starting today. So what we're going to do in this video is go over this weapon's stats and perks to determine its P PvP and PvE god rolls so you guys know what to farm for and, as important, if it's worth farming for. And so, let's get started. So, first things first, again, this is available starting today on May 25th, 2021, and you only have this week as kind of a short window to get a decent roll before it disappears for two weeks and is back on the third week. Also remember that eventually when Grandmaster Nightfalls are introduced, you will be able to get the adept version of this weapon. So let's first start off here with the stats. So this is a 90 rounds per minute adaptive frame archetype. So same archetype as the Adored and the Beloved and the Eye of Soul, a pretty common sniper archetype. Looking more closely at the stats here, however, this weapon boasts very high base range. 64, for comparison, is quite a bit higher than most other adaptive frames. The Adored has 55. The Eye of Soul also has 55. So getting 10 more range is nothing to scoff at. You're basically getting a free hammer forged rifling just automatically on this weapon. And my experience with playing with it has been that it's a very easy to use land shots with and control weapon. And especially in PvP, where you want your sniper rifles to have the highest range possible because the range stat affects the accuracy cone, making it easier to land headshots, having more range than most other guns in its archetype is a pretty significant advantage. But moving on from there, let's talk about its perks. Starting us off, we have a pretty normal assortment of barrels. And essentially, if you're going for a PvP roll, again, you want that range. And if you're going for a PvE roll, you're likely to go with something maybe with more stability so you can land those follow-up shots, but really it doesn't matter as much in PvE. Then in terms of the second column, firstly, we have a few extended mag perks, and these are going to matter quite a bit. If you're going for a PvE roll, you really want extended mag or appended mag. These provide larger magazine size bonuses, and that matters because you can actually get the magazine size all the way up to 7 rounds if you also use a backup mag mod. However, if you have TAC mag, it only goes up to 6. Moving on to a PvP roll, you're likely looking for accurized rounds for that range increase or maybe a reload speed increasing perk. Moving on from there, we have the first main perk slot. And starting us off here, we have Triple Tap. This is great for PvE. Rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine, out of thin air, not even from your reserve ammo. Then we have Clown Cartridge. Reloading this weapon randomly overfills it from reserves, so if you just have four rounds in the magazine, you're likely going to get five or six with Clown Cartridge after reloading. Bottomless Grief is here as an additional perk, doesn't do much. Then we've got Lead from Gold, where if you pick up heavy ammo, it also refills your ammo, pretty decent for PvE. Then Snapshot Sights is absolutely top tier for PvP, letting you aim down sights faster. And lastly, Killing Wind is also not bad for PvP, giving you an increase to mobility, weapon range, and handling after getting a kill. Moving on from there, we have the second perk slot. And first off, we've got Explosive Payload, where projectiles create an area of effect detonation on impact. So in PvP, you can have this and shoot people around corners. Literally, if someone's hiding just around cover, you can shoot the ground and finish them off. Not to mention it adds flinch, and then in PvE, Explosive Payload does around 10% just more damage in that, and also the area of effect can be useful there too. 
Then we've got Vorpa Weapon. More damage against supers in PvP can matter, and then more damage against bosses and champions and the like in PvE can matter quite a bit too. Then we've got High Impact Reserves. The rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. In PvP, you only start with two rounds, so High Impact Reserves is going to be active quite a bit. This can let you, you know, with this archetype, get a one-shot headshot on a super that maybe you weren't able to without it. And then in PvE, this can deal a significant amount of extra damage. Then we've got a new perk, Adrenaline Junkie, giving you a damage bonus after getting a grenade kill. Then we've got Demolitionist, which gives you more grenade energy and can instantly refill the magazine when you throw your grenade. And lastly, we have Dragonfly, where precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. Not bad for PvP, actually, and okay for PvE. Alright, so what are the god rolls for this weapon? Well, starting us off, we have the PvP god roll. So... For this weapon, I think you're definitely going for something like Hammer Forge Rifling, or Extended Barrel, or Full Bore, maybe Small Bore, something with a decent range increase. Then, in that second perk slot, you're really going for Accurized Rounds for even more range. If you get that plus Hammer Forge or Full Bore, your range is going to be insane with this archetype. After that, in my opinion, you're really going for Snapshot Sights. This perk went up in value because its main competitor was Quickdraw, that's kind of the other S plus tier uh, sniper perk, and Quickdraw just got a nerf, Snapshot didn't. Then you're combining that with, well, there's actually a lot of options. Explosive Payload would be decent, Vorpal Weapon to deal with supers, or High Impact Reserves to also deal with supers, or heck, even Dragonfly to go for those cheeky double kills on wounded enemies. I think any of those would be good, but just the insane range plus snapshot sights plus any of those perks I mentioned would be a really solid PvP roll. Moving on from there, however, we have the PvE God Roll. So for this one, the barrel really doesn't matter as much. Go for something like Small Bore because it gives you an increases across the board. Then again, you absolutely need Extended Mag or Appended Mag. Nothing else is good enough in the second column. And then you're probably going for Triple Tap. The reason being is because with seven rounds in the magazine, triple tap will trigger three separate times. So that means if you land all of your precision shots against a boss, for example, you'll shoot 10 times before needing to reload. That is really powerful. Then in that second perk slot, you can combine it with two different things. Vorpal Weapon is fantastic. That is going to give you an extremely consistent damage increase against the type of enemies you want to be doing a lot of damage against with a sniper rifle, bosses, champions, you know, mini bosses, etc. Or you could also go with high impact reserves. This is also going to provide a significant damage increase, especially because you're going to be able to trigger it multiple times. With high impact reserves, the last two rounds in the magazine are going to give you a 26% damage bonus. So with triple tap, you actually get to shoot that last round twice because that last round is going to trigger triple tap, which gives you one round back, which lets you shoot it again. So you can kind of get more damage than you're supposed to with high impact reserves. And this works against all enemies, not just bosses. Now there is one alternative role. I would again recommend going for a higher magazine size bonus and combining that with clown cartridge. If you already have seven rounds, clown cartridge is going to give you eight, nine, maybe 10, and that's already going to be insane. Then you combine that with Vorpal Weapon, because you really don't want high impact reserves, the reason you want it with triple tap is because that multiple trigger, but Vorpal Weapon for the entire Clown Cartridge Meg is going to be quite good as well. And one last thing, if you're considering grinding a PvE God Roll, you certainly can, but you may want to hold out for the Adept version, simply due to the fact that it will be able to use the Adept Big Ones spec mod, which makes it do around 7-8% to more damage against bosses and majors. It's basically two of the better PvE mods combined into one. It is quite literally best in slot for PvE, and that is definitely a reason to get the Adept version.
And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.